Hi and welcome to the session. I am Asha and I am going to help you with the following question which says ABCD is a rhombus and PQRS are the midpoints of site AB, BC, CD and DA respectively show that the quadrilateral PQRS is a rectangle. So interpreting the given question in the form of a figure it will look like this where ABCD is a rhombus and in a rhombus opposite sides are parallel also and equal also and we are given four points P, Q, R, S such that P is the midpoint of AB, Q is the midpoint of BC, R is the midpoint of CD and S is the midpoint of DA and we have to show that P, Q, R, S is a rectangle. So let's start with the solution. And first let us write down what we are given. So we are given a rhombus A, B, C, D in which P, Q, R and S are midpoints of A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A. And we have to show that quadrilateral P, Q, R, S is a rectangle. Now to show that PQRS is a rectangle, first we will show that PQRS is a parallelogram. Now in triangle ADC points S and R are midpoints of AD and DC respectively. So by midpoint theorem this implies that SR is parallel to AC and SR is equal to half of AC and this is by midpoint theorem which says that the line segment joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and is half of it. So by midpoint theorem. And now in triangle, ABC points P and Q are midpoints of sides AB and BC. So again by midpoint theorem this implies that PQ is parallel to AC and also PQ is equal to half of AC. So let this be 1 and this be 2 and from 1 and 2 we find that AC is a line which is parallel to both SR and PQ. So this implies SR is parallel to PQ. Since two lines parallel to the same given line are parallel to each other and also SR is equal to half of AC and in turn half of AC is equal to PQ. So this implies SR is equal to PQ. And as we know that in a quadrilateral if a pair of opposite side is equal and parallel then it is a parallelogram and in quadrilateral PQRS we have side SR equal to PQ and also SR is parallel to PQ. So this implies that quadrilateral PQRS is a parallelogram. And now we will show that PQRS is a rectangle. Now to show that it is a rectangle we will show that angle P 
is 90 degree since each angle of a rectangle is of 90 degree. So let us show that angle P is equal to 90 degree. Now let the point of intersection of the diagonals AC and BD be O. This point be E and this point be F. Now since PQ is parallel to AC, this implies PF is parallel to EO and also Since S and P are midpoints of AB and AD, so this implies SP is parallel to BD and SP is equal to half of BD. Now since SP is parallel to BD. So this implies EP is parallel to OF. Now let this be equation number 3 and this be equation number 4. And from 3 and 4 we see that in correlateral EPFO, site EP is parallel to OF and PF is parallel to EO. So this implies P, F, O, E is a parallelogram. Now we are given that ABCD is a rhombus so this implies diagonals bisect each other at right angles So this implies this angle is equal to which is angle E O F is 90 degree and just now we have proved that P F O E is a parallelogram. So this implies angle E P F is equal to angle E O F since Opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. So this implies angle EPF is equal to 90 degree or we can say that angle P is equal to 90 degree. And above we have shown that quadrilateral PQRS is a parallelogram and just now we have shown that angle P is 90 degree and therefore we have quadrilateral PQRS is a parallelogram in which Angle P is equal to 90 degree. Therefore, we can show that each angle of this quadrilateral is of 90 degree. Therefore, this implies that quadrilateral PQRS is a rectangle. So this completes the session. Take care and have a good day.